Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, I'm going to show you the difference between a bad bunker design and a good bunker design. Let's get into it, shall we? So first things first, we're going to start off with the bad one. First things first, poor quality blocks is one thing we have in this bunker. A wood foundation, simply terrible. And the inside. <clears throat> Windows on outside wall. Look at this. Sure. It looks nice, you can see outside, but if it's part of your main structure, you probably don't need windows anyway, right? We have a one layer roof here, which poses the problem of exposed conduits up here and exposed reinforced glowstone, which these have a very low blast resistance and I don't even know what the rating of this is. I think this is 160 and that's the bad bunker design. Let's move on to the good bunker design now. So over here with our good bunker here, we have a concrete foundation, which is a good start. Though it could be better. We have higher quality blocks. These have a blast rating of 48,000. <clears throat> this has a blast rating of 4,800, which is very good. And uh, for the roof up here, we have a two-layer design. So our uh, weaker blocks can be recessed into the, uh, recessed into the uh, structure better. So that, therefore, these aren't exposed to the outside world, which means it won't cause, uh, <clears throat> it won't be any, like, a weak spot in the bunker or anything. We have our power cable shear, uh, shielded by our second layer of the bunker, which is very good. And look at that, we have a double layered floor on the bottom as well. So by far, this is by far the best bunker. Anyway, that is it for part two of our uh, bunker designing. And uh, anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.